Welcome to episode 4 of the YouTube monetization side hustle series, where I reveal behind the scenes information about my small channel's journey to YouTube monetization. It has been 2 weeks since my last episode and I aim to post a video per week in this series, with maybe a few days delay and also to post my regular YouTube videos in between sharing what I think new YouTubers can benefit from. But life got in the way and I had to delay making this one. It's summer time and my 4 year old is on vacation so no kindergarten during the day. I know there are other YouTubers starting out with 3 kids who manage to make it work but I'm constantly looking for ways to improve my productivity because if they can, so can I. My wife has a demanding job that takes up a lot of her time visiting suppliers so we have to divide the time to make this work as best as we can. Because being a parent while having 2 big jobs and starting a side hustle is not easy. Also I believe these are the golden years. When we will look back we will be amazed on how much we have managed to achieve in the same amount of time. Since the last episode I managed to post a video about the affordable Boya Lavalier microphone but I almost gave up on it because the microphone has been around for a long time and many creators have made videos about it, some with over 500,000 views. They made those videos a few years back but I realized I could still bring a lot of value especially to new YouTubers starting out and recording on their smartphone. It turns out that this video is doing quite well, better than my video about the Elgato microphone. Actually right out of the gate it was a 1 out of 10, gaining over 400 views in the first 3 days. So it's my best video yet. This is probably because today's smartphone have good quality mics but not quite good enough for making YouTube videos. I think this mic can significantly improve audio quality if you record with a smartphone and don't want to spend so much. I'm always looking for small affordable upgrades so if you're curious about it you can check it out in the card above or by using the link in the description below. Now while I was writing the script for this video I kept switching to my other videos because I was losing track of my previous metrics and forgetting where the channel was a few episodes back. So I stopped scripting and created the Google Sheet to gather all my metrics in one place. Now I can easily track the channel's progress from episode to episode, making it easier for you to follow the journey. I will reveal the sheet in a bit but before let's talk about what's coming next to my channel. I have seen many small YouTubers who've made videos about the changes they went through to reach their first milestone of 100 subscribers. Actually I was planning to do this upon reaching 1000 subscribers but after examining the results of other channels I saw that they have great success. So I want to create my own version of that. Now if you were waiting for the wireless microphone video you'll have to wait a little bit longer and even consider subscribing so you don't miss when it comes out. I'm also working on a special video that I think you will find fascinating. Because I already started earning money from this channel and you'll be amazed at the amount and how I achieved this with fewer than 100 subscribers. So be sure to follow along when I reveal it. Now let me open up my channel's analytics and select the range for my next episode. We have the following. About 1200 views, 22.5 watch hours and 11 subscribers. Now let's dive a little deeper to see the exact results across the 4 episodes. So here is my magic sheet where I started tracking my metrics. I think this sheet will be useful for you because by watching the latest episode you will be able to see the most recent results. But I encourage you to watch each episode in this series because in each one I reveal the exact details of what I did between the episodes. So 15 days have passed since the last episode. I uploaded one long form video and two shorts. Across this period a total of 23,474 impressions were made and the average view duration and CTR slightly increased which is good. On the subscriber side I gained 22 new subscribers but lost 11. I think this is because some people don't subscribe for the entire variety of videos on my channel and then left. At the same time it is strange to me because I personally don't unsubscribe from a channel I've already subscribed to. But who knows maybe YouTube is checking these subscribers from time to time and cleaning them up. So now my channel sits at 112 subscribers with 22.5 watch hours and 1192 views. This means that the channel grew roughly by 10% which is great considering just about 2 weeks of time. Out of curiosity I added an extra column to see the average subscribers per day it seems to stay around 0.7 so every day my channel gains 0.7 new subscribers on average. Because of this I estimate closing the month with 120-125 subscribers. And to get an overview of my total stats let's go back to the analytics on YouTube Studio. Here are the most important stats for my channel. Nearly 7000 views, a little over of 110 watch hours and 112 subscribers. Now if you made it this far in the video thank you. I hope this information helps you understand 
what results to expect if you're just starting out on YouTube. And if you haven't already, now is a great time to subscribe to the channel so you will be notified when I publish the next one. See you there. Ciao.